Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's EACTA AIC webinar, which is on early extubation and fast track postoperative care in pediatric congenital cardiac surgery. My name is Mona Momeni and I work as cardiac anesthesiologist in the Clinique Universitaire Saint Luc in Brussels. I am also the chair of the congenital subcommittee within EACTA AIC. First of all, First of all, I would like to thank, uh, to warmly thank our main sponsor, uh, Livanova. Despite the challenging financial circumstances, they have been uh, willing to sponsor this webinar with an unrestricted grant. So thank you very much in the name of EACTAIC. Today we have four excellent international speakers that have kindly accepted our invitations. In invitation. Many thanks to all of them for being here with, with us. By the end of this webinar, I hope that you will be able to better understand the feasibility and safety of fast-track pediatric cardiac anesthesia, the principles of developing a suspect successful fast-track program for pediatric congenital surgery, the impact of heart-lung interaction in pediatric cardiac surgery, and finally, the benefits and considerations for using dexmedetomidine for fast-track pediatric cardiac surgery. This webinar provides you with two CME credit points, which is, of course, very important. Now, before we get started, I would like to share some, some important information with you. If you have any questions during the presentations, please type them into the question box. We'll bring them up at the end of the four presentations. During this webinar, we will also present four polls on the practice of uh, fast-track uh, 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 anesthesia in congenital cardiac surgery, and I really encourage all of you to participate. In order to participate in the polls, you will need to be out of full screen mode and wait for the questions to appear on the poll module. When open, you will then be able to see the poll question and make your selection. Please click on the send button when you uh, when you are ready, please do not use the question box, with, which will not help you to answer the, the poll. You will have 10 minutes to answer each poll, uh, after which the poll will be closed. So please remember again that polls cannot take place in full screen mode. So uh, uh, we'll start with the uh, with the first poll uh, that you will see now on your screen on, on your screen. And again, please come out of full full mode because otherwise you will not be able to see the poll. So the first poll is: How often do you perform fast track anesthesia? Is that first option less than sixty percent of the cases that you do? The second option is less than thirty cases of the thirty percent of the cases. The third option is less than 5% of the cases, or the last option, never. So how often do you perform fast-track anesthesia? So please answer the poll and please click on the button send. So now we will uh, start with the first presentation and I have the ple pleasure to introduce our first speaker, which is Dr. Joost van der Maten. Dr. van der Maarten uh, works as cardiac anesthesiologist and intensivist at the University Medical Center Groningen in the Netherlands. He has a particular interest in perioperative echocardiography and pediatric cardiac anesthesia. Dr. van der Maarten is chair of the European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging and EACTAIC TE Examination Committee. And today he's going to discuss with us what is the evidence for fast-track anesthesia. Thank you very much, Jos. Please. Thank you, Mona, for this uh, nice introduction. And I would also like to thank the Education Committee of EACTA, and especially uh, Mohamed El Tahan for organizing this webinar on this uh, very interesting topic. Um, the concept of fast-track post-operative clinical algorithms usually referring to uh, early extubation, has been present for the last two decades. And although widely adopted in adult cardiac surgery practice, the pediatric cardiac surgical population is quite distinct from adults, making extrapolation a little bit difficult and maybe inappropriate. There is um, considerable variation in anesthesia practices and diversiveness, in children's age and physiology and anatomic complexity. So 
Moreover, the definition of early extubation is also inconsistent um, across studies. So let's try to clarify the evidence for fast-track anesthesia. I have no disclosures. Um, during the uh, seventh World Congress of Pediatric Cardiology and Pediatric Cardiac Surgery in Barcelona a few years ago, an opinion poll was held among pediatric cardiologists, surgeons, and cardiac intensivists, all of whom were working in these specialties in various parts of the world. And uh, they were asked their opinion on the most important people and events and concepts, technologies, discoveries, etc., in pediatric cardiology in, and cardiac surgery. Uh, and among all those very clever cardiological and surgical developments, two of the earliest milestones need to be mentioned. And that's the creation of the first Blaylock Tausig Tomaschent in 1944. And from cardiolo cardiological perspective, um, the balloon, atrial balloon septostomy by Reskind. However, um, next to all those surgical key events, attention was also given to cardiac support systems like ECMO, to uh, medications like nitric, nitric oxide, which has been uh, um, molecule of the year, um, imaging techniques, especially intra and perioperative transesophageal echo, um, certain concepts like the recognition of neurodevelopmental challenges and the neurocognitive outcome, very important in cardiac, pediatric cardiac surgery, and of course the organization of care that used to be um, quite, di quite different from what it is today because we have specialized cardiac nursing and pediatric cardiac intensivists. And in, in the end, but not, uh, not uh, at least, but not last, it's uh, the clinical outcome research that's important. And that also includes the long-term consequences of adult congenital heart disease. But what, where does fast track uh, comes in is the development of neonatal surgery and uh, early um, um, uh, correction of cardiac anomalies, an invitation to speed up the time of recovery? No, I don't think so. It's, I think it's about finding an acceptable balance between the complex of congenital cardiac surgery and the time that is needed for recovery. So in, uh, in other words, the track is already there. But the speed allowed depends on the chances for failure and doing harm. Already 20 years ago, <clears throat> uh, Bailey and his group at Loma Linda, California, USA, uh, already showed there that an ultra fast track program was possible. And they had a strategy that was threefold. First, the same day admission. Second, immediate extubation and as you uh, and as you can see um, uh, in the right upper panel um, uh, in the OR almost 87 percent of their patients were extubated and all, and more than 90 percent within four hours after surgery so that is their second pillar and this, the third pillar is very early discharge uh, on the right lower panel there is in